Hi, Deb here. And the funny, funniest thing, ever since I had to retire, I've been finding dolls that I can afford. It's just wonderful. I hope you saw my video of my Lost in Space dolls. Those were dolls I bought for myself for a retirement gift. But I've been going thrifting and to places I've gone before and found nothing. And now all of a sudden, I'm finding them for a dollar, maybe two dollars. So I went to Goodwill and came home with this little Amish girl. She has um, a maker. I don't know if I can. Julie Good Kruger. Oh, gee. <laughs> Julie. Does anyone know her? I just love this little girl. And, you know, a dollar, two dollars. I had to bring her home. Okay, and I got I got another one of those um, Paradise Galleries singing angels. I'm hoping when I go back the next time, there'll be another one there. I think there were four. <coughs> I think so. Well, I'm not sure, but we'll we'll check. You'll be seeing these around Easter, Easter or Christmas. Uh, okay, and then. I don't know if you guys collect live dolls, Spin Master. Look at that. Look at those eyes. It's like a dollar. And they're so articulated. And uh, look at that. Got her and her. Now the clothes, I mean, you know, I put those on they didn't have clothes and I bought the wigs also but I bought the wigs for less than I normally would pay for one wig and in the process of getting the wigs I got this doll so I have three more Spin Master Live dolls I was so excited I love these dolls I only had one before does anyone else collect them? I think they're beautiful. Those inset eyes just, they just grab me. <laughs> okay, and now those were in a bag. And now there is a little doll nudity, so letting you know this girl was in the bag with them. And she's the same, must have been from the same people that did this doll because the same kind of marks. I cannot get it off. But I'll just put long dress or long pants on her. Her hair is kind of a mess, but we'll get that fixed. Then there was um, a Disney doll. Again with the hair. I sure hope Marna sees this and tells me about that downy dip. I can't remember what video she talked about it. I've got some downy. I just don't know how to uh, do it. Or how long to leave them in. And this girl, I know that face. She's a. Let's see, do they have any marks? Nope, no marks. Oh, wait, there is a mark. It's a number. Is that the kind of number you can put in and get detail? Anyway, she was in the box, and I know that face, but I can't place it. The last video I did where I was asking you to identify dolls, all of them but one were identified, so thank you so much. And this poor girl. I know she's one of the cutie reveals. Uh, I forget which one, but look at that hair. I just had to rescue her. I had to. I just couldn't leave her like this, but... I'm going to have to do a lot of work, so I'll do a second video so you see the results. So I hope you like, com comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And I don't know if I'll do this in a two-part or two separate videos. So till next time, toodles.
Hey, Deb here, and I've just been to Family Dollar, and for five dollars I got all this, all these dresses and shoes and purses. So let's open it up and see how it went. Well, the gown is the only one that is Velcroed, so it might be a trick to get them on some dolls, but I think it'll work. And I've got a bunch of thrifted dolls, so we'll see. Hi, Deb here, and I got my thrifted dolls cleaned up as best I could. These two dresses I from that pack I couldn't really use, but maybe a Francie or a smaller doll, it'll work. So I boil washed and then downy dipped their hair. And Barbie, she came out pretty well. Oops. Okay, her hair came out pretty well. It's soft and pretty. And then I gave her this little outfit that I had, and the shoes came from that pack. They fit a regular Barbie pretty well. And then this, uh, I started to say Gilmore Girl. Um, oh, it's not Glitter Girl, it's... Sparkle, Sparkle Girl. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> um, her hair came out okay. All of them, the top of it was shiny and soft, but the bottom just still, no matter how, I downy dipped for 10 minutes and boil washed and rinsed. And, but it's the best I could do. They're better than they were. And this is the, uh, is this Mulan? I, I'm not real good with Disney dolls. Anyway, I gave her one of the outfits from that set because it stretched and it fit over her. And I gave her some shoes and a little matching purse. Her hair came out okay, just like the other. It's soft and shiny on the top, but frizzy at the bottom. But it's much better than it was. And finally, remember the girl, the cutie reveal with the horrible hair. There she is. It came out pretty well, but I decided to give her a bubble braid. But this dress from that set matches her hair so well. I was kind of excited, and it fit her easily. So it just depends on what doll you use. Gave her some shoes because her poor little feet have been all chewed up. And a little matching purse. So, there's my girls. Maybe not perfect, but better than they were. So, thanks for sticking with me. And hope you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Toodles.